You watch, you wait it. Now it's time to save. It's the grand opening sale of the all-new Stevenson Mazda. Stevenson Mazda on Market Street. Truckloads of 2010 Mazdas have arrived, and we're selling them at 2009 prices. Stevenson Mazda. Noah's Ark Children's Center at Masonboro Baptist Church offers families an alternative choice for kindergarten. We provide a high-quality academic program in a family-oriented Christian environment that prepares children for their future academic success. We chose Noah's Ark because of the low ratios and the individual attention to Jackson's where we thrive because of that. Thinking about kindergarten? We are enrolling now for fall 2010. Call us for more information. During the grand opening sale at Stevenson Mazda, buy 2010 Mazda CX-7s for $21,990. New Mazda 3s for $179 a month. And every Mazda comes with our lifetime warranty. Stevenson Mazda on Market Street. Welcome back to the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group. We're here at Carolina Beach as we prepare to take the polar plunge for the Special Olympics. That's I don't know a lot who, of peace. Yeah, and I don't know who we is. I don't know if we're taking the them, polar plunge. Them. Them. <laughs> now, the water's pretty chilly for these guys back here. Uh, the action was hot over Brogdon Hall last week. Let's check out the girls' Mid-Eastern Conference Tournament. As the third seed, Hogger closed to the opening round games Monday night at Heavy Gym. The Vikings were taking on six-seeded Greenville Rose. Kaylee Black gets the scoring started for the Vikes with the stick back. Rose was able to do some damage down low as they look to pull the upset, but Mackenzie Edwards and Hoggard couldn't be stopped. They go on for the 72-57 win and will play second-seeded Laney Wednesday in the semifinals. New Hanover came out and opened up a big lead over New Bern in the other first-round matchup. New Bern responded with a 21-point second quarter, getting back in the game by halftime. The Wildcats looked like they would regain control. They took a seven-point lead in the third quarter, but New Bern got hot, and it was the Bears who were up by three with just seconds to go. New Hanover had one last chance to tie the game, but it wasn't to be as New Bern holds on for the 55-52 win. They'll take on top-seeded Ashley, who is hosting the semifinal matchup. On Wednesday, Laney and Hoggard opened up semifinal play at Ashley High School. The third-seeded Vikings get the layup off the fast break as they were looking to return to the Mid-Eastern Tourney Championship. Hoggard would wind up pulling away from Laney. The Vikings sail to the 44-27 win, advancing to Friday's title game. In the other semifinal, the top-seeded Ashley Eagles were taking on the fifth-seed New Bern Bears. The regular season champs get the big three-pointer from Ashley Altman. With just one conference loss on the season, the Eagles looked like they were in postseason form. Altman feeds Crystal Harrell for the layup. Ashley rolls to the 50-24 win, punching their ticket to the Mid-Eastern Championship game. On Friday night, Ashley and Hoggard took to the court, two teams battling for one trophy. Hoggard finished the year with a win over Ashley in the last week of the regular season, so they knew they had what it took to pull the upset. In the end, however, it was too much Ashley. They wind up getting their offense in gear and win the Mid-Eastern Conference Championship game 53-45, much to the delight of head coach Adrian Gale, whose Eagles claim the regular season and tourney titles for the first time in school history. It's the first time in school history we got both, and this is, this is great. This feels awesome. These girls have um, been fighting hard for a couple years. They've been on a team, a lot of them, the seniors since they were freshmen. And I just saw them grow and mature so much. And for the, to see the progress and for to be able to see them uh, clinch this, this is awesome. Ashley opens up state playoff play Monday at home. Here's a look at the rest of the first round matchups. Congratulations to the Ashley girls for taking home the championship. Late loss at the end of the season could have propelled them all the way. Absolutely. Now, that wasn't the only high school basketball action going on in the Mid-Eastern Conference. Here's a look at last week's Waccamaw Tourney Championships. The North Brunswick girls were looking to pull off a first, as no one has tucked East Bladen all year. The sports kept it close early. They trailed 16-10 after the first quarter. East Bladen works the ball around on offense. They find C.J. Melvin down low. She was unstoppable, scoring a game-high 33 points on the night. North's offense stalled in the second quarter. Shania Montgomery gets the steal and heads the other way for the layup. While the Scorps put forth a valiant effort, there was too much Melvin and too much East Bladen. The Eagles soar to the 73-36 win, capturing the Waccamaw Tourney title, staying unbeaten as they head into the state playoffs. Well, of course, your first goal is to win the uh, conference championship, and uh, we're, we're looking forward to um, 
next week. Uh, we play all year long for next week. Um, our goal is to get back to Greenville. This will be our sixth trip back if we can make it. In the boys game, the South Brunswick Cougars and the West Bladen Knights faced off for the Waccamaw Tourney title. West Bladen works the inside out attack. Justin Gillespie is left open from behind the arc and connects for three of his 10 points on the night. South Brunswick is a patient team on offense. They get the quality shot as Justin Hill hits the jumper, but the Cougars were down 9-5 early on. The tone for the rest of the night may have been set at the end of the first quarter as Dakota Fields hits the buzzer beater, electrifying the West Bladen fans. The Knights kept things rolling. They go on for the 47-35 win and will have momentum on their side next week as the state playoffs get underway. Well, congratulations to the East Bladen girls and the West Bladen boys. We invite you next week to log on to CapeFearSportsReport.com and follow along with all of the state championship action. Still ahead on the Cape Fear Sports Report, we'll take a dip in a warm swimming pool over at UNCW. But first, an icy cold plunge here at Carolina Beach. You're watching the Cape Fear Sports Report, driven by the Stevenson Automotive Group.